my name's Robin Clay. Today I'm giving you a sneak peek at a class I'm teaching in August called Needle Felted Brooches. Let's get started. This is an example of the piece I'm going to make. It uses felting wool, a zipper, a bobble, and a pin back, and a few other items. The tools I'm going to need for this are a felting pad, a piece of plain old felt that you get at the craft store, a felting needle. This needle has um, sharp barbs on it that when they're poked into the wool fibers, it tangles it up and uh, turns it into felt. And the best part is my beautiful wool itself. This is called roving. And uh, the roving I use comes in small containers like this, but when they're pulled out of that tiny packet, you have lots and lots of pretty wool to work with. This has been cleaned and carded and dyed, but not spun into yarn yet. To make our brooch shape, you can use a cookie cutter or any kind of template. I didn't have a cookie cutter here at home, so I'm using the lid of a ball jar. Now, once you choose your, your colors of wool, you can pinch off of the wool um, and mix those colors together. Of course, you don't have to use more, more than one color if you don't want to, uh, but you can use as many colors as you like. So I'm going to mix mine up, just kind of uh, tangle it up together until I have something that I like. And then I'm just going to push it into my template. Okay. Oh, that looks pretty. Now I'm ready to start uh, felting. The tip is really, really sharp, so you want to watch your fingers. Felting, all it is is just poking. The more I poke at it, the more those fibers get tangled up and turned into um, a solid piece of cloth. So this takes about five or ten minutes. So I am going to make sure I catch the edges of my shape and keep working at it. I'll be back in a minute. So I've been working at it for a few minutes. I can pull off my template and now you can see it's stuck to my um, it's stuck to my fabric and it's a little bit stuck to my foam, which is fine. And it looks really, really pretty. I'm going to keep working on it to kind of get the edges nice and clean and get to the texture that I like. If you like something fluffier, you'll felt it a little less. But the more you work it, the more solid it becomes and smooth on the top. After that, we will cut it out. I'm going to embellish mine with a, a zipper, actually. The piece you see here has a zipper glued onto it and then this bobble I found in my jewelry box and I'm just attaching that. You can actually sew onto your felt, you can glue beads, you can sew beads, uh, you can attach charms, There's, they, um, you can add more felt to it, more designs. I mean, your imagination is the limit. But to add the zipper, I just have a metal zipper, okay? And then I'm just going to fiddle around and kind of figure out how I want that zipper to go. I've decided I really want a swirl, so I'm going to think about how I want that swirl to look. You can either draw the design on the back or just go ahead and cut, and I'm just going to cut mine. I know I want a swirl in there. All righty. So it looks like this now, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to just insert that zipper like so. And glue it into place. Oops. So it works like that. Um, 
the best way to do it uh, when we attach something like this so that we want to stick instantly would be to use a hot glue gun. So I would open this up, uh, glue it, and just kind of take it a little at a time. Glue a little, stick a little, glue a little, stick a little, until eventually I have the shape that I want. You can see that I'm going to run out of zipper a little bit, so um, I can always trim off my felt. All right, so that gets hot glued into place. The back is going to be a little bit messy. So once you've trimmed off the edge of your zipper, you can insert another piece of felt and then glue your pin back on and attach that to uh, anything else you want to. So I really hope you join me in August uh, to learn how to do this basic felting project. Uh, if you've never done needle felting before, this is a perfect place to start. Uh, I'm teaching other felting classes summer quarter, including wet felting. So um, if you're a wool lover or you'd like to try it out, please join me summer quarter at Source Point.